Yo, man. I'm just gonna jump right into it, man. It's still fresh, man. It's still like first was in the first 24 hours, man, that this been out, man. This currency spring clean album. Ten tracks. I'm just gonna be 100% honest with you, man. It is a fire project, but at the same time, man, I feel like um, 808 Mafia, uh, Fuse from there, whoever, that whole group, I don't, I don't feel like they capture um, spit of sound. Like, they, like they, they beats to me ain't ain't worth the damn, to be honest with you. I would have much preferred um, Ski Beats or Heat Makers or um, Alchemist or Harry Frog. Or even or the producer, the trademark, or, or anybody, I would have felt like would have did a better job with this as far as the beat selection is. is you know, there's a couple of good songs on there with as far as beat wise and stuff like that. But I feel like this is not one of his best um, productions as far as on the production side, as far as the beats and just how everything blend together. Definitely not the projects that he do with Alchemist and Harry Fraud and all the other producers like um, Ski Beats and. Um, all the other producers he's been working with lately, man, is, to me is way better than 808 Mob. If you're a real um, Spitter fan, you got to hear the difference. Like, Currency do his best to, you know, to, to spit on these type of beats. And um, Currency can make any beat sound good. We already know that. But um, it definitely was, um, it, to me, it, it wasn't like, it definitely wasn't, I don't think it was better than that first Spring Collection tape. And it's, it's definitely not one of the best currency projects that I've heard, but it's still fire and it's still early. But look, with that being said, let's just jump right into it, man. He kicked the album off with Coast to Coast. And I'm going to be 100% honest with you, man. I'm one of the biggest Spitter fans out there, man. I've been rocking with Spitter for a long time, but to me, he never really, really had a strong intros to, um, to his albums and mixtapes, to me personally. There's some there's artists out there that's bring it in out the gate start it off right to the shit to me currency his albums like kind of build up the for the intros to his albums are not uh you know if it's not him like talking and spitting some shit to me it's kind of not like a throwaway song but just kind of like the song just to set the tempo off for the whole album and to me that's what coast to coast was all these beats could have been better though if to me if they would have had a better producer but you know it is what it is. Currency still did his thing and changed it around. To me, coast to coast though was not. I didn't like to beat too much, but Currency still made it work. Number two, the game featuring Fendi P. To me, this this is the one of the best beats that they did. I'm not gonna lie. They 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 tried. They 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 captured his sound a little bit on this one right here. They they tried, you know. And this this was the first track to, to kick it off. Fendi P snapped on here, you know, Spitter did this thing, this beat is super fire on some laid back shit, uh, plotting, scheming type shit, this is a fire track right here, alright, uh, this is one of, so far, definitely one of my favorite tracks on the album right here, featuring Fendi, and I was surprised too, cause you know, usually, to me, my favorite tracks would be with Spitter on his album, usually be the ones when he solo dolo on them, but, you know, him and Fendi, they always make some good projects, they just released a project earlier this year, The Smoking Partners, which was uh, another great, album, tape, whatever, I think that was one of their first collaboration tapes or something like that they did together, and that sh that was fire all day, um, but yeah, this is a fire song, both of them did their thing on that, and um, when I heard this song, when I first heard this song, it gave me hope for the tape, like, oh, okay, maybe they can get this together, maybe they can find Spill of Sound, maybe they can, you know, get the essence of what Currency be rapping about, and, 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 and bring it to life with the beats and stuff like that. Third, third song, it goes into All in the Picture. This is one of my favorite songs on the track. The transition from the coast to coast to beginning, I told you, you know, you know, the currency intros to me really ain't that strong. Let me know if you feel different about that for all them real lifers and stuff. To me, currency never really had a strong intro. He never been like one of the marchers. But then he goes into the game featuring Fendi P. That's a fire track, super. That's vintage currency right there. They did a good job on that beat. And then it goes to All in the Picture. To me, same thing. Like, they captured the currency sound on these two songs right here. This, um, The Game and All in the Picture. All in the Picture, to me, is one of my favorite tracks on the song. Lyric-wise, the beat is fire. Currency did his thing on here, man. This is 
It's a fire track. If not, to me, one of the best tracks on the song. We're gonna see how it held up on the actual t um, album, but we're gonna see how it holds up, though. The next song it dips off into is um, Endless Summer. I'm glad that he named it this and stuff because I was surprised that he named the overall whole title Spring um, Clean. You know, we're gonna be out of spring real soon. The summer finna kick up, so it's only right that he mentioned something about the summer. And, um, he did with the Endless Summer. To me, um, it's a decent track. Not one of my favorite ones on the track, but like I said, it's still new. I think they was trying, they was trying to capture it, to, um, you know, stay with that currency essence and stuff. They kind of steer away from it and stuff, but they come back to it. Um, but to, like I said, it's not one of my favorite tracks, but it's still new. This can all change a week from now. So you gotta live, you gotta live with albums sometimes to see how they sound in certain situations, certain days, certain moods, certain times of the day. You gotta hear how they sound, how to, how, on a car ride, how they, how they come out of certain speakers, how they hear, how I come through earphones, how I come through the car, how I come through your home Bluetooth speaker, your regular stereo system and stuff. You gotta, you gotta give it a full listen. So, I'm gonna hit you with that update, hit y'all with that update when that come, you know, when I, when I do that. But dude, this is just an early review right here, cause, it just came out, man. It's Jet Life. Since midnight began, been bumping this heavy. But um, yeah, everything to uh, uh, Endless Summer number track number four. That's a decent track to me. Not one of Currency's best songs on his album, but it's, it's still a decent track. It, it to me is better than Coast to Coast so far. Then we go on to number five, Everything. To me, that's a decent song. It's a decent song. Uh, didn't like the feature on this one at all. Gunplay to me is one of the worst rappers of all time, man. You know, he 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 had one song called Bible on the Dash. He was all right and stuff, but like he has no lyricism. Like his style, he just like he just he's definitely the weakest one in MMG, and he definitely showed that on this song. I didn't know what the hell he was talking about. No no flow, no cadence. Just him. It's like he gave Spitter one of his wackest verses that I ever that he ever can find, and you know it was just a horrible verse. I actually turned this song off like when he, uh, two, two, three bars in when he started, um, when Gunplay started rapping. I'm glad he let Gunplay rap last on this one. That way you can you can listen to the beginning of the track, get Spitter on up out of there. Cause Spitter, Spitter did his thing on there. The beat two is all right. It's nothing special from Fuse or 808s or whatever. He could, I, I don't know. Some of these beats to me, don't even, I didn't like this one. And definitely Gunplay, to me, he destroyed the whole song. I think Spitter should have got somebody better on there, like uh, like Stally. Oh, shit, I even would have took Wale on this one. And of course, Meek. And of course, uh, Rose. There's so many other people I would have preferred to have on this song. But let's just, let, me, let me get off of that real quick. Next song, track number six, Andretti Notes. Just a quick little interlude. See, the, just the song, the album got ten songs. It really got nine really much when you really think about it, if you want to put it like that. But, like, this ain't nothing special, you know. This is just, just some, just an interlude, Andretti Notes. Number seven, Road to Riches. This is, this might be a, um... This might be like a crowd favorite right here. This might be it right here, like featuring Wiz Khalifa. Like I said, when these two get together, they kind of bring out the best of each other. More to me, currency bringing out the best of Wiz. Wiz, like I said on the on, on the prediction video of, of this, Wiz, he brings his best verses when he rapping next to currency, man. He just snaps every time he, he do some real shit with currency, man. The songs more the currency got with him. It's more on the laid back party smoke vibe and stuff. But when him and currency mix up, it's that plotting scheme, that spit some real shit to these fire beats and just go in on that on that jet life Taylor gang shit. And um, this song, I had it on repeat for for a while. This this to me the best feature on the whole tape. Definitely the best feature on the whole tape. And I'm not surprised either. You know, it got Wiz in there and stuff, man. To me, Wiz, he, been, he ain't been as the best he can be right now. But when he jumped with currency, he always he always do his thing. So, Road to Rich is definitely one of the best tracks on this album. You you can't deny that, especially if you're a Spitter fan and a Wiz fan. They killed that shit. They blend together perfectly, man. They like they like um they like uh I was I was gonna say um Shaq and Kobe, and yeah yeah that's that's a good example right there to me. So they both kind of needed each other. I was gonna say Scotty and Pippen, but that's more like sidekick 
type of deal, like Batman to me, Robin type shit, but Shaq and Kobe, to me, is a better um, fit for that. Road to Road to Riches, that was a, that's a classic track in my opinion, instant classic. Let's go on to number eight, I Don't Want Much. I actually like this song, this some real shit, just listen to Spitter, man, it's one of the realest songs on the album right here, Spitter talking that shit. Talking about the things that's important, man. Talking about the things that's not important. Talking about the things that you just should be on. Or you should have on your mind. And shit you should have on your daily routine and stuff. Like, Spitter just talking that real life shit. You can learn a lot listening to Spitter, man. Spitter always... I wouldn't even consider him a rapper, man. He's just a, a dude, a chill dude that drop jewels over beats. That's how I put it. He just give you inspiration. Give you um advice over beats. Just spitting... Real everyday life shit over beats that he that he go through and shit and he talk about a lot of um, spitting that real shit up on the, on his album and um to me he just couldn't put the 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 whole thing together because it like the beats couldn't stay consistent enough for me like it would do like on the Alchemist track how they be blending together and just the like surprise sounds of the production and the sound effects and everything none of that was here but currency. One of the coldest, man. You you currency can drop a, a acapella tape or some pen beats making a beat on a desk and it'll sound good. Ah, oh, the currency rap the golden panda, everything, man. He done, he done, I heard him rap to a car alarm before. Currency can spit to anything. That's why he a legend, man. That's why he the OG, the founder of Jet Life, man. That's for real. But yeah, um, I don't want much. That's one of the, that's one of the better songs on the album for sure. And then number nine, we go to um, Know Him. To me, this is one of the best features on the album as well, man. Uh, featuring with T.Y., man. He did his thing on here, man. That's for real. T.Y. did his thing. Son of BG. He always got a good verse, man. Country isn't a motherfucker, though. You can definitely tell that he's from New Orleans and, and he's from, you know, that down south, man. He definitely country. All of them country. Currency country. All of them got that down south sounds in their voice and stuff, but he definitely got it, man. You can just tell with T.Y. be spitting that real shit every time. He one of the youngins up in the jet life, man. He holding jet life down for that for that newer generation, man. That 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 uh that late 2015, 16, 17, 2020 shit. Like he from spit a pretty much passing him the torch for the for the young version of jet life right now. He holding it down right now. And he did his thing, man. The, the beat, this beat is actually pretty good too. They did it, but this is a pretty good beat right here. I was, I was surprised. I thought they was gonna do like another something like they did with the gunplay song, but I like this beat on here. It's actually pretty good. Going to the final track, one of the tracks I was just off the title alone. I thought it was gonna be one of the best tracks, Black Mirror. That's the final track he chose to close the album with Black Mirror. Very interesting title. To me, the song is still registering with me. Still registering. Off, off top, it's off, off, off first listen, it's not my favorite song. Definitely not my, um, definitely not the worst song on the track. It's just not, it's just not one of my favorites, but it's still early, man. I probably haven't heard the song maybe five times already. Really listen to it. I'm just, it's just still early, man. The, um, but it's still a decent song. Definitely, um, I will put it in a, one of the better songs of the album. To me, the worst song on the album, if, if I had to say it had a worst song, would be the song with, um, and when, 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 I, when, you, when I say a spitter song is, uh, is worse or bad or something, that's like, um, <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not bad, like bad, like oh, these rappers out now. When I say they bad, then it's actually garbage. It, it, it suck when, when, when spitter is, when I say something like his is bad, his bad and, um, his suck or his worst is bad is better than the top notch of what they consider out now. So his his worst is still better than these best any day. But if I had one of the, my least favorite tracks on the album would be the definitely the song with gunplay. Probably Endless Summer. And this can all change once I you know I hit y'all with the you know I as we see how this age. Uh, pretty much those two right there, but other than that, my favorite tracks on the album, I probably would have to say, it's all in a picture, and then it's the road to riches, and then it's the game, and then it's the, uh, uh, the, um, the norm with T.Y., then it's the, I don't want much, I don't know, man, this is a solid project, though, man, I, it is. I don't, I don't know how, how it's going to wrinkle. It's so early right now. I don't know how it's going to. I'm 
you know how I'm gonna rank it as far as the um the J Electronica album that came out earlier, the Currency and Fendi album that came out earlier this year, Joel Santana. Yeah, it, it's it's a hundred percent better than um Jada Kiss Ignatius album that came out this year. That was disappointing. He could have came a lot stronger than that, but yeah, it's definitely better than that. It's better than quite a few projects that came out this year, like the the Wiz Khalifa 2420 project. A whole bunch of stuff is killing this year already, man. I can tell you that off off right now. But these ten tracks right here, definitely a solid ten tracks if you want to call that nine, ten tracks or whatever, man. Definitely support, it, especially if you a jet lifer, man. Currency. Always stay consistent. Always got some fire all all the way throughout the year. He never released a whack project. It don't matter who the producer is. The producer can be the worst producer ever. It can be it can be anybody. And currency will find a way to make it sound good. And that's exactly what he did on here. Cause um, Fuse of Eight Oh Eight, man. I don't want to see him really working with them no more again. But. You know, if he gonna do some um, songs like the um, that he got with Fendi and um, a, a couple of better tracks on the songs, if they do some stuff like that, then yeah. But the ones like with Gunplay and the other beats, they can take those back. But this is a solid project, man. For all us Spitter fans and stuff out there, man, this will definitely hold us to that next project come out, man. Hopefully another Pilot Talk or another Fire in the Clouds Part 2. That's what I want right there, man. But stay in tune with me, man. I'm, I'm going to put on some. I'm going to keep y'all posted on it, man. Rock with it, man. Currency featuring Fuse at 808. Spring Clean Project, man. Clean up to it. Smoke one, too, man. Read something to it or just vibe out to it, man.